it's Chastity with Life with the Monicos, and I'm about to give a review. Ooh, my lighting. Uh, right there. Debt free degree. Stay tuned. Okay, I just got home from work, but I read it. Um, wow. Loved it. Very easy read. Took me a couple hours. Was done. Autumn's next to read it. If you don't know, Debt Free Degree, lighting again, there we go. Debt Free Degree uh, is written by Anthony O'Neill. He is a personality who works with Ramsey Solutions, which is Dave Ramsey. And you guys all know if you're new, I am a huge Dave Ramsey fan. But, um, if you are a huge Dave Ramsey fan, you're going to get it anyway. You're going to read it. It's a very good book. But you're probably already doing what needs to be done. As for people who don't have a plan and have a junior and senior in high school, it's a good book. But if I wasn't already on the Dave Ramsey plan, I would definitely recommend this book to anyone who has a junior high student or a middle schooler. I know, everyone's like, junior high, what's junior high? For us old people, we know what junior high is, people. Okay, middle school. For me... I have one kid on track, so if I would have picked this book up and not been a Dave Ramsey fan at all or knew about the seven baby steps or going to college for free about scholarships, she would be definitely on track. So this book really wouldn't have helped me with her. She's on National Honor Society. She's, you know, filling out for scholarships, everything like that, and she's been doing it since middle school. Also, Jeremy and I told our kids from the time they could understand we would not pay for college. So that right there is the first step. If you don't have money for college, no matter what age your child is, tell them. And this book will explain how to do it. It will give you the steps to teach your child how to do what Autumn has already done. So, great. As for my junior, Austin. Yeah, if I would have picked this up and I only had Austin, not to be rude, guys, but I'd be screwed. Uh, he does not have the grades. He, he didn't do, like, the route Autumn went. He didn't do student council. He didn't do National Honor Society. He doesn't focus on his grades as much as someone who kind of wants a free ride to college should. And I'm not saying you get good grades, you get a free ride, because it's a lot of hard, hard work. Autumn did get into several colleges. She had the ability to pretty much go where she wanted to. Is she allowed? No. And this book does teach you how to tell your kids, no, you can't go to that school. No, you're not getting $50,000 in debt just to go to that school. No, not when you have a community college or a college in your own town. This will explain it. Now, if I just had Austin, whoa, <laughs> okay, if I just had Austin, it's different. I just looked, I talked to him. I sat down and actually talked to him and, you know, said, what really do you want to do? Because we try not to pressure our kids too much on college. Although this book does start a lot earlier with the middle school. Like the best, I'm not going to lie. The best part of this book was chapter eight. And chapter eight was if you had a junior Can you guys see that? Okay, I read the book from cover to cover. I love to read. But this is what it says, chapter eight. If you just picked up this book and started reading chapter eight first because your student is a junior, 
I'm also glad you've joined us. Like, right there. He's like, we know how real people are. My husband is not a reader. He would have looked at this and be like, Psh, I have a junior. I'm going straight to the junior section. That was the best part of this book for me because it's real. Uh, it does tell you how to do the steps to get your child where you want to be. But as I said, Austin, I sat down with him. He is actually, he's always wanted to be a lawyer. Um, he's mind shifting a little bit to possibly a gap year, which I, that totally knocked me for a loop. I did tell him he was going to have to get a real job. Not that Giant Eagle is not a real job, but a job that's going to pay 16, 17 bucks an hour. And I told him where he's going to go work also. So it's a possibility that he's doing that. It's, it's thrown out there. I didn't flip out. I didn't go insane. I didn't say you're going to college no matter what because I'm not making my kids go to college for something that they're not going to want and it's a waste of money. Then he also brought up about being an electrician and going to a technical school here also and living at home. I was okay with that. It's great. But if he decides to do a trade school and Autumn does continue on with Penn State like she had planned, I am looking at probably... All right, so if Austin does go to Triangle Tech and Autumn does stay in Penn State, that means I'm going to have two kids in those schools at the same time. You're looking at $18,000 at least for Austin and another $14,000 for Autumn, depending on how much tuition is going to go up. So it's probably going to be probably 18 and 18 because that's my luck. So somewhere within the next two or three years, Jeremy and I have to make sure these kids know that we're not going to be able to shell out $18,000 for this one and $18,000 for that one because we will be broke living in a cardboard box underneath the bridge. So I do recommend this book. If your children are juniors and seniors, you, your spouse, and your kid are going to have to work your, you know what, off because it's not going to happen. And if you and your spouse or single parent are facing this, you have to learn to tell your kid, no, no, you can't go to that college. It's too expensive. You have to go to this college and you're going to have to live with it. And you guys need to pick up the total money makeover. I loved reading this. I am definitely going to give it as gifts to anyone with a middle schooler. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Very, very good read. I do think letting your kids read this, your 18-year-old, your 16-year-old, your 17-year-old, is probably the best thing to do because it's a lot of them working toward that debt-free degree. This explains it to the parents because I'll tell you what, 20 years ago, well, a little bit longer than that, but 20 years ago, college was completely different than it is today. Pick up the book, read it. I do give it a thumbs up. I highly, highly, highly suggest this book to anyone with a middle schooler and no savings for college. You need this book. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope this helped you out. If you have read this book, drop it in the comments. Who would you recommend it to, and how did it help you?